Hello beloved and welcome to your reading. Let's have a look to see what messages the divine wants you to receive in this timeless reading. We are going to get straight into this reading to reveal the messages that are here for you. And the first card is seeing you having an energy of an epiphany. That aha moment, there is clarity that is on the cards for you. So if you are feeling foggy minded right now, if you're not really able to see clearly, the divine is saying that the answers that you are seeking are coming. We now see you wishing upon a star. There is a message where the divine is wanting you to realize that all your wishes are coming true. So stay in the energy of being balanced Okay, don't get too overly emotional and stay centered and grounded in your naked truth. Because the divine is really wanting you to realize that you need to allow time for things to unfold, for your wishes, for what it is that you're manifesting to start manifesting into reality. Okay, so let's have a look to see what is currently going on. There is a sense of wanting whatever it is that you're praying for to come now to come quickly already okay there is a sense of urgency that is on the cards because the divine is saying for some of you you are feeling bound to a situation and you are feeling that only winning the lottery is going to free you from this situation only this and that is going to free you from this situation the divine is wanting you to have a different perspective on this situation because the divine is saying that if you take that blindfold off you're gonna see that your situation is not as bad as you think it is you're gonna be able to see that you actually have options there is actually an exit to this situation you are not as bound as you feel that you are in your mind so remember the first card that we received. You are receiving an energy of an epiphany, an energy of clarity, an energy of that aha moment. And the divine is saying that you landed on this reading for a reason. This reading was meant to nudge you in the right decision to help this epiphany and clarity to come in. So the divine is saying that you are not as bound as you are. But again, you have a choice. You can choose to keep the blindfold on or you can choose to remove that blindfold and accept the gift of an epiphany, the gift of some important divine messages that you are going to be receiving, that are going to be freeing you from the situation because indeed, what is currently standing in the way from you receiving what it is that you want is your thoughts because the swords operate on the mental plane and because you are believing that you are bound to a situation because you're believing that you are powerless and someone else is more powerful than you so indeed what choices do you have well you are commanding your mind not to look for solutions to free you from this situation so now the divine is saying that you are powerful and you are going to tell your mind indeed that you are powerful and you're going to command your mind and give your mind this sword of clarity. As you fall asleep, you're telling your mind to go and find a solution to your predicament. And you are going to see that before you know it, there is a gift, there is a clarity, there is an epiphany that is going to happen that you are going to be surprised that you never thought of that solution before. And then once you have unbound yourself from the situation, then your wishes, your dreams, your manifestations, you can go and start enjoying that. I want to say to you that if you are experiencing any challenges and you are wanting to work with me, I do my candle rituals where I do cutting the cords, releasing bad luck, banishing bad energies. We also have a wonderful full moon ceremony on the 13th of July where we are going to be celebrating the super full moon, the blessing new moon, full moon rather. 
and if you're wanting to be part of that go on my website it's in the description box below go and purchase your candle write your petition keeping it short and sweet because i focus on where you are wanting to go i focus on the results i don't need to know the backstory of how you ended up here so you are buying your candle you're writing a petition this is what i want and i receive that petition I start working with your candles, with my guides, my ancestors and the divine to start really transmuting this energy that is here so that you can see more clearly. So whatever it is that you're currently going through, if that is something that you feel called to do, again, my website is in the description box below. And I want to take this moment in time to thank everyone here on this YouTube channel who has been purchasing the candles, who has been purchasing my services. And for everyone who keeps returning with different areas that they want me to look at, I really, really appreciate you because I truly enjoy saying prayers because I know that they work. They work for me. They work for many of my friends. So indeed, they really do work. And speaking of working, we are seeing an energy of the Eight of Pentacles. So as we are going forward in the future, we now see you here focused. You are now free. Things have changed for you. The money has started coming in. You are now focusing on your work. You are now focusing on bringing your abundance in. You are now focusing on creating a lot of resources for yourself. Now let's talk about the energies of the Eight of Pentacles. Now you are in a good place. Your prayers have been answered. You have the home. Okay, you have the money, life is good, but we are seeing you still focusing on creating more abundance for yourself because you are realizing that the skills, the talents, they are yours to use. And the more you use them, the more you perfect them, the more money you make. So some of you, you are going back to school or you're taking maybe an online course to learn some skills so that you are never having to rely on anyone else to pay your bills. You're saying that I have some talents that I'm going to use and I'm gonna use them to make my living and I am going to enjoy that and your enjoyment is going to be opening up more abundance. So there's an energy of you going back to become an apprentice. There's an energy of you going back some skills that maybe you used to know in the past and as you're starting to learn as you're starting to perfect the skills you're gonna see that your abundance your resources your joy your physical health your mental health is going to get better and better and better so the divine is saying don't delay start using those talents start using those skills and I know that some of you will say I don't have any talents and I don't have any skills. Well, what did you enjoy when you were a child? What can you do for hours and hours on end without getting bored? In this day and age, we have TikTok, we have YouTube. You can go and share your skills. You can literally watch series, Netflix series, live with people and get paid for that that is crazy to me you can go and become a millionaire playing games i mean really that is absolutely crazy you know that people are becoming completely self-reliant doing the things that they love and these things we sometimes look at them as if they don't have any value because we have been taught to almost think like slaves we have been taught that we need to go and work hard. We have the weight of the world on our shoulders. We must go and keep on working until we are exhausted, until we are bent out. The energies of the Ten of Wands is feeling bent out, worn out, because you're working so hard, but you are never rewarded. You are never paid enough. You are just paid enough to keep you in a job. And that's it. So the divine is saying, put down these wands. This is not your burden to carry. I gave you some gifts. I gave you some talents. You enjoy playing video games. Well, go and play video games and start 
seeing how you can make money from that. There is so many YouTube videos, there is so much out there in terms of resources that can teach you how to leverage your hobbies, your talents, your skills, the things that you love instead of feeling like this. So the divine is saying enough is enough. It is time to come and claim your abundance. It is time to remove the blindfold and to understand clearly where your abundance resources is going to come from. It is connected to your gifts. It is connected to you working with your hands, healing other people, working with other people. Maybe you're making jewelry. Maybe you are making whatever it is. Maybe you're playing video games. Like I said, you're sharing poetry. You're doing tarot readings, Reiki. Whatever it is that you're doing, there is an endless way of making money. And the divine is saying that you certainly have been praying about the lack of resources that you have. And the divine has had your prayers. And you found this reading for a reason. This is the answer. This is the epiphany that you were searching for. Okay. And I can see that my battery is running out. So I'll get one more card and say goodbye. The Five of Wands, it is time to stop fighting for resources. It is time to stop competing for resources and to understand that the Divine gave you everything that you needed to make money through your own way, through love, through joy, through the ways that is going to make you feel alive. Now go and find how you can make this happen. Come on, I am doing YouTube readings, doing tarot cards and making a living doing this. I do my candle ceremonies because I love them. They make me feel alive. And when I get your testimony saying that you, I changed your life, that is not me, that is me working with my guides, my ancestors and the divine. And it makes me feel so good. And it feels amazing every time I receive an order and I feel that I'm truly changing someone's life and I know that you want the same for yourself. So it is time to step up because yes, even I had to start from ground zero and work my way up and I know that you can do it too. Okay, so this is the reading that I have for you. And again, if you're wanting to work with me, on the full moon, this super full moon, don't miss this opportunity on the 13th of July. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Come and work with me and let's see what happens because I know that you are going to be stepping up. Okay, so it is a goodbye from me. Bye.